One of the greatest tools we offer is the Student Success Center. Here to talk with me more about the Student Success Center is Student Success Center Director Amy Davis. Thank you so much for joining me today, Amy. I really appreciate it. Um, we are here to talk about the Student Success Center, which is really the hub for students, or has become the hub for students here at CCC. And what all falls under the Student Success Center umbrella, and what is the main purpose of the Student Success Center? Well, the main purpose of the Student Success Center is really just an area to help students um, with resources and staff that are available for them. To, um, and our ultimate goal is to see students graduate, whether it's from a degree, a diploma, or a certificate. Um, and so our office um, has lots of different resources for students, academic advising, counseling for personal and career counseling. Mm -hmm. We offer placement testing. We offer a variety of tutoring. Um, we coordinate all of our ACA or academic support classes under mm -hmm. the Student Success Center, like college success and study skills, um, college transfer success, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. And then we also um, coordinate instructional technology. We work very closely with our distance education department okay. and um, utilize some instructional technology for faculty as well. Okay. Now, I know you mentioned tutoring. Um, what type of courses are covered under the tutoring because I know you can't offer tutoring for every subject so what right. what is offered? Well, we tend to offer tutoring for subjects that really build on each other things like math we offer ev tutoring in every level of math that we have from developmental math all the way to calculus okay. um, things like accounting where s the courses that sequence each other and they're, they're building on each other any kind of English um, course that we offer um, especially with an emphasis on writing. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of times students who are, will be in a class, they're in a history class or they're in a psychology class and they need to know how to do citations correctly mm -hmm. or they just need to help on developing a thesis of some kind so they can meet with an English tutor. Um, we also offer a great number of computer tutors um, okay. for students who need assistance with just navigating basic computer skills or navigating through Blackboard, our okay. course management system, or learning how to set up their email or their My Cleveland account or something like that. Okay. Now, is this tutoring free? This tutoring is absolutely free for okay. students, and we encourage that students use tutoring. Okay. Um, sometimes even the best students, even straight-A students, use tutoring just to keep their grade okay. in their class. It's not always for students who are struggling. Okay. And now, who are the tutors, typically? The tutors that we have, we have about 20 tutors on staff this semester, and several of our tutors are part-time faculty members. We have about four or five student tutors that have come highly recommended from different faculty and deans at the college. Um, and then we have a couple of outside tutors that just have an interest in, um, in that particular discipline. Okay, now I know you also have personal and career advising mm -hmm. and also the um, Starfish early alert system. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your um, counseling and advising and all that part of the Student Success Center. Okay, well the counseling aspect, I mean so many times, I mean you know you and I went to college and sometimes we there are problems, we had issues and you're not really sure where to go mm -hmm. and you just need somebody to talk to. Um, so we offer personal um, counseling and it's really just short-term counseling. We do make outside um, referrals to other agencies okay. if it's if it's a serious nature, there's something that we need to do to connect the student with some other community resources. Um, everything that we offer in the center is confidential. Okay. And um, so we do that personal counseling. And then we also do some career counseling. So we're really helping students on the front end, making sure that they understand about selecting a major and how to plan their course of study through a program mm -hmm. so that they stay on track for graduation and that they mm -hmm. are able to identify goals early on so that they can finish and continue. Okay, and what about the Starfish Early Alert System? How does that work? The Starfish Early Alert System is something that we implemented for our online classes. Mm -hmm. We found a few years ago that when we added so many of our online classes to our curriculum that sometimes students had a hard time um, staying focused in those online classes mm -hmm. because it wasn't like going to a face-to-face -face class every day. Mm -hmm. And so we needed something to be able to reach out to those students who were struggling. Um, maybe they were having trouble just managing through the course 
or they were having trouble attaching files or completing technical assignments. So we offered something called Starfish Early Alert, which mm -hmm. allows us to monitor when students are logging in and it will raise a, what we call a flag for students okay. that have not logged in in seven or 10 days. Um, so that we can let the students know, you know, this could be a problem, a potential problem for you. And it also allows faculty to contact us okay. for students that they may recognize in their online classes that are struggling in some way. So we re reach out to them and we, mm -hmm. again, offer them things like tutoring. We also have some online tutoring through a resource called smartthinking.com. Okay. Um, that, and just to l remind them that we've got counselors and advisors here to help them if they if they're on campus or they need to contact us through email or, or other means so we can help them get along their way. Okay. <laughs> well, it sounds like a, a great system to keep up with what students are doing and, and really if you see you know, that they need the help, you catch them before they get too far gone. Right, that's our goal. Okay. Absolutely. Well, talk to me a little bit. I know you guys also have um, the Getting It Together workshops that you offer mm -hmm. and you have those fairly, I mean, yeah. frequently. Yeah. So talk to me a little yeah. bit about those and, and what might a student, if they go to one of those workshops, what might they learn? Well, in fact, there's a Getting It Together workshop series happening as we speak right now. Okay. There's one it's called today, the series was called Stress for Success. Okay. And it's all about um, healthy stress management techniques because a little stress is actually good. Okay. <laughs> but it's how students manage stress is what they really need to know and understand. Um, and so we have topics such as that. We have things like um, um, overcoming test anxiety, mm. um, overcoming math anxiety. That's one of our most popular subjects. Mm -hmm. And then other things like um, understanding ADD or ADHD. Maybe you as a student don't have that, but you know somebody that does or, okay. you know, something like that. Just maintaining healthy lifestyle, healthy relationships, anything like that that's really important to a college student. So we tend to offer a variety of workshops throughout the semester. Of course, those are all free to students. Mm -hmm. um, this semester, um, we'll have a schedule of workshops that we publish on our website okay. um, and they're, they're published around campus and we mm -hmm. encourage students to go to those. And then we, we try to give students extra credit and a lot of our classes for attending those okay. kinds of workshops. That's another incentive. It yeah. is, definitely. All right, well talk to me a little bit um, as well about the ACA class, the um, Success and Study Skills classes. You know, everybody more or less that comes through or that's going to transfer to a mm -hmm. four-year university um, mm -hmm. needs to take these classes and really even if someone's just here for a, an associate degree, um, they really need them. So w why are those so important? Well, ACA classes stand for, the prefix stands for academic support classes. Okay. And really, it, there are courses that are designed to help students transition to college more effectively. Whether, like you said, they're here for just a semester or they're here for a whole two-year degree program mm -hmm. or a diploma or so forth. And so we've got two different classes. One is called Success and Study Skills, and it mm -hmm. really focuses on time management, how to be a better college student, how to take notes, how to study effectively. Mm -hmm. We focus a lot on developing critical thinking skills and so forth. Um, the other class that we have is called College Transfer Success, and it is a course that's designed to help students understand the transfer process for when okay. they leave Cleveland Community College and they go to one of our 16 state universities or maybe they transfer to another university in North Carolina, that they understand how their credits are going to transfer. Okay. So that's all about that transition process from community college to a four-year school. Okay. Now, I know you and I would agree that we have the best instructors here at mm -hmm. CCC. Yeah. Um, we have also really, just in the last couple of years, um, really started to focus more on technology in mm -hmm. the classroom. Absolutely. And we have been able to do that because of um, the instructional technologist that's in mm -hmm. your department. Talk yes. to me a little bit about how that has worked. Okay, well so many classes now, even our face-to-face -face classes, use so much different so many different types of technology in the class. And while our faculty members are certainly skilled at their discipline, mm -hmm. sometimes they get overloaded and overwhelmed with incorporating all new technologies into their classroom. And you know, they want to keep their, their classes and their material exciting and engaging for the students. So um, we have an instructional technologist on campus who works directly with our faculty members. Okay. And she works with them in um, how to use technology effectively um, to communicate with students and for faculty how to 
keep things productive and engaging. Okay. And they work very closely with our distance education coordinators um, on utilizing these kinds mm -hmm. of technologies, both in face-to-face -face classes and online classes and hybrid and so forth. Okay. Well, I want to briefly talk about the TRIO, Student Support Services Program, as mm -hmm. well as the Minority Male Mentoring Program that is also in the Student Success Center. Yes. Um, give us just a little background. We are actually going to have um, Annette Toms, who is the director of the TRIO, mm -hmm. on next month for Connections. Mm -hmm. But I want to just you know, give a little tease, I guess, okay. for next month. Okay. So. Well, the TRIO um, SSS, which stands for Student Support Services, it is um, it's a federal program um, from the U.S. Department of Education, and it's primarily it is designed for students who are first-generation college students, meaning that neither of their parent has received a bachelor's degree. Um, it is also for students with some students with disabilities, mm -hmm. um, documented disabilities, some students with financial need, and traditionally those students and those populations are really what we call at-risk students. Okay. Um, it's difficult to get them through the process, th through college, the maze of college process. So we're trying to really put some intrusive services to together for them mm -hmm. to let them know that somebody is in their in their corner mm -hmm. <laughs> um, to help them get through sure. that program and the same is very similar with the minority male mentoring program mm -hmm. that we call um, men making moves mm -hmm. um, it's a small group of students it's about 25 male students who are in the program um, and again, they are working very closely with mentors and faculty advisors. Mm -hmm. um, they're getting exposure to lots of different activities and things that they might not have otherwise received had they not been in, a, in such a program. Mm -hmm. And I know one thing that we have not mentioned um, yet is the placement testing. Oh, yes. That is also in your department. Yes. So really anyone who yes. comes to CCC mm -hmm. is going to have to come to the Student Success Center for placement testing. Correct. And Diane Green is over there and does a great job. And Correct. just tell me, how does that work? Okay, we offer the Compass placement test, which mm -hmm. is a computerized test in writing, reading, and mathematics. And all students are encouraged and usually required to take the placement test, even mm -hmm. if they're not quite sure what major they're going to go into. It, it okay. provides us an opportunity so we know what level of courses to begin them in. And we always tell students, it's not a test that you pass or you fail. You just get a score. Mm -hmm. Some students need to go back and have some refresher and some English and mathematics and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So that just gives us an indication where that they will be best suited to mm -hmm. start college. Um, the other test that we offer is the computer placement test. Okay. We have a lot of students that take a class called Introduction to Computers. It's part of their degree program. Mm -hmm. And that class sounds like an introduction, introductory class, but mm -hmm. there are a lot of students that have never touched the computer, especially our older returning students coming mm -hmm. back to school for the first time or coming back you know, to college from years ago, and they've right. never, they're not familiar with software and hardware and different things. So okay. we offer a computer placement test if they need to take a pre-class mm -hmm. to help them build their skills as well. Okay. And all of those tests are free. All right, good to know. And I know you brought some materials with I you. I know just. Um, for our students and visitors who are also watching the show, um, they can pick up all of these things, can't they, they in can. the Student Success Center? And you've they got can. a schedule there mm -hmm. that kind of tells and a getting it together schedule. Yep. I love the idea, too, that you guys are providing the um, planners mm -hmm. for the students this year as yeah. well. So that yeah. is um, staying you know, on schedule and time management is so right. important for it, new students. Exactly. So. Well, sometimes it's something just as small as this to, to be able to give to students to say, you know, write things down. You, they need to understand about mm -hmm. writing down tests and quizzes and papers and tutoring appointments and things like that, that you know, um, so that they have a resource to be able, it's right there at their fingertips. So we're giving this to all of our students who are enrolled in all of our ACA classes this semester. Okay. Good so. to know. Um, also, Tell me again the hours for the Student Success Center. What okay. are those? Okay. We are open um, Mondays through Thursdays from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. And on Fridays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. All right. And if they want to call you, the number? The number is 704-484-6088. Okay. And that's our main line in the All Student right. Success Center. And you're located in the Jack Hunt Campus Center Correct. on the second floor. Second floor. All right. Okay. Right Great. above the college store. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Is Thank there anything you. else you'd like to add? No, I just encourage students to come by mm -hmm. and see us and let us help you get through college. <laughs> I would too, definitely. If it's some place they have not visited yet, they definitely need to get there because you yes. guys have 
um, just so many resources to help them be successful. We do. Thank you. Thank you.